Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly reporting tonight from Boston. Thanks for watching. A civil war in Washington. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Tomorrow night, the president will give his fifth State of the Union address. And Talking Points predicts many Americans will not pay attention. That's because the USA is stuck. Little is getting done in D.C. And the folks are getting sick and tired of the log jam. Mr. Obama has promised that if Congress does not cooperate more with him, that he'll sign a bunch of executive orders getting stuff done by fiat. Well, that's not going to make many people happy. At this point in his presidency, President Clinton had signed 238 executive orders. President Bush the Younger, 198. And President Obama, 167. So you can see that Barack Obama hasn't been crazy with the executive order business. But that was then. Now the president's under siege. All the polls show his job approval rating low and his credibility has been damaged. A new poll by the Associated Press asked Americans who tried signing up for health insurance on the Obamacare website what they thought of the experience. Just 8% said the website works well. 29% somewhat well. 53% not well at all. That 8% number is a disaster. After all the money spent to roll out Obamacare, 8%? So tomorrow night, the president has a very difficult task trying to convince Americans that his administration will solve vexing problems going forward. One of the big concerns with the president's tenure so far has been his inability to persuade Congress to give him a break. Mr. Obama should remember Steven Spielberg's Lincoln movie. That film is essentially about what President Lincoln had to do to convince a Congress suspicious of him to pass anti-slavery legislation. Lincoln did all kinds of things, some of which bordered on illegal, to get the slavery deal done. Even if Barack Obama uses executive orders, his presidency will not be successful until he reaches some kind of detente with Congress. And that is an exceedingly difficult task, because Republicans smell blood in the water and are in no mood to expand the federal government the way the president wants. Just today, there's an article in the New York Times that says the Republican Party may well win the Senate next November. So alert Americans know that Barack Obama is not in a good place. His job tomorrow night to begin to turn it all around. And that's a memo.